I'm Chris Thacker, and this is The Curiosity Show, coming to you from the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. Today we're in the Malacology Department, and Malacology is the study of snails, clams, squid, octopuses, soft-bodied animals. Mostly they live in the ocean, some of them live on land, and the vast majority of them have some kind of hardened, mineralized shell made with calcium the same mineral that's in bones and the same mineral that's in teeth. The snails of Los Angeles are a particularly fascinating topic, and our curator of malacology, Dr. Jan Vendetti, has started up some new citizen science programs helping Angelinos look around their environment and catch and understand the snails and slugs that live there. Jan's gonna tell us about snails in general, about some of the uh, slightly horrifying land snails that are found around the world, and the land snails that live right here in LA. Hey Jan. Hey Chris. How you doing? Great, how are you? Jan, Dr. Jan Vendetti is one of our, our curators in the Urban Nature Research Center using citizen science and other techniques to understand Los Angeles biodiversity. They're one of the only major groups of organisms I can think of that live both in the ocean and on land. How do they, what do they, how do they breathe? They've evolved to have a, a lung type structure. They're breathing air in a way sort of similar to how we breathe air. And yeah, you're right about them being one of the only groups that have, well, evolved in the sea, but then in what we say is invaded land. Oh, okay. So, and they did that in sort of spectacular fashion. So there's hundreds of land snail species in North America and thousands around the world. Megalobulimus okay. oblongus, and it's a South American species that lays eggs. It's found in Brazil, Uruguay, Paraguay, and it's unlike most snails marine or land, this lays eggs that look a lot like uh, a bird egg. This is a snail egg? Yeah. This is an egg, okay, and it will lay, what, dozens of these? Hundreds? It, maybe five to a dozen, depending on the species. There's a lot of species in this genus. This is one of the most horrifying things I've ever heard. <laughs> and when Jan first told me about this, I said, okay, we've got, we've got to explore this a little more because it's terrifying that a snail lays a bird egg like this. <laughs> it's terrifying to think about how it's doing it. You know, it's, it feels like the snail is just gonna take over. You know, it's <laughs> right, it's rapidly reproducing, it's laying these tough eggs. Yep. It, where's it getting, it's getting the calcium, it must have a lot of calcium, because yeah. it's, it's ravenous. And their, right, and their shells, you can see, right, are their thick. shells are thick, so where they're living and the resources that are available to them, they obviously have enough calcium to make a shell for themselves and also a calcium shell for their babies. For hundreds of their terrifying right. babies. reasons we are interested in figuring out what snails live in Los Angeles is because most people know this as, oh, this is the snail that lives in an urban environment. And it's true, it does live in an urban environment, but what a more interesting question might be is, despite our urban environment and development of a city, what can still live there that's native or what is new that's coming in? So we have the, so how many native snails do we have? We have a lot of native snails. I mean, maybe not a lot, but like a dozen. This is the point of urban biodiversity. And one of the things that we've been finding, you know, all of us that have been working on this topic is that there's so much more here than people realize. Exactly. And there's so much variation and so much interesting biodiversity going on. We do have two um, species of the genus Helminthoglypta, and these two, especially Trasci, this is our native Los Angeles snail. Wow. So if we had an untouched environment, we would be seeing Helminthoglypta Trasci everywhere. So if I want to be a citizen scientist and I want to go out, I want to look for the snails that are in my yard or around me in Los Angeles. One thing you could do if you have a smartphone, you can use the iNaturalist app take pictures of the snails that you find in your backyard, at school, at the library, bus stop, anywhere, and then upload them to the slime page, and then I would identify them for you, or the community of people and iNaturalist would identify them for you. Citizen scientists, you can help us out if you're interested in looking around for snails in your garden, or elsewhere, all around Los Angeles. Thank you, Jan. Thanks Hi. for telling us all about snails today. You're welcome, Chris, anytime. <laughs> we'll see you later.